Hello guys, I'm Kate, I'm a pharmacist and I'm passionate about skincare and beauty. Welcome to my channel and I hope you will learn something useful in every video. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. So we've already talked about hyperpigmentation and pregnancy, but today I want to continue with this topic because hyperpigmentation is one of the major concerns nowadays and people are very interested in, in uh, causes and treatment but as you've probably already understood best treatment is protection so hyperpigmentation is a condition where you uh, where you see dark spots on the skin uh, enzyme called tyrosinase produces melanin a darkening pigment in melanocytes so many different factors can actually trigger melanin production and number one is what it's sun exposure so basically if you spend a lot of time in the sun you don't use a sunscreen you don't uh, you don't have glasses or hats or proper clothes you are going to develop hyperpigmentation so why you need melanin uh, of course not just for the tan which we all love but actually we need melanin uh, to protect our skin from UV radiation uh, however if our, if our skin gets overexposed to sun this um, leads to overproduction of melanin and in these situations you see a dark spot on your skin and for all those out there who scream that how did people live without sunscreens they are not all dead they are okay and we are going to be okay but actually let's be honest they didn't have this uh, tan madness which uh, which we see every day people are sunbathing on the beach uh, people are wearing uh, clothes that uh, don't cover the skin at all uh, and we are actually spending hours and hours and hours outside uh, but at the same time those people without sunscreen they their skin did burn you know and they had problems uh, that which is why they tried to avoid the sun exposure uh, as much as possible they wore special hats they wore clothes and they uh, also didn't think about sunbathing at all <laughs> let's be honest here you don't see uh, a woman in 16th century sunbathing on the beach you just don't <laughs> melanin protects your skin against uv radiation but at the same time if you get if your skin gets overexposed you will experience burn and hyperpigmentation and actually people with deeper complexion they tend to develop hyperpigmentation more often in comparison to those with lighter complexion but those people with lighter complexion uh, they actually burn fast so everybody should protect their skin so there are different types of hyperpigmentation uh, there are so-called age spots or sun spots uh, which we develop uh, due to sun exposure uh, and after a certain age uh, then we have melasma also called mas mask of pregnancy and we talked about melasma in a previous video you can see it here link, link. and the third one is uh, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation uh, these are for example acne pimple spots so once hyperpigmentation spot is developed the sun exposure can exacerbate the problem and make the spot darker or bigger so the best approach here is either to avoid sun exposure or protect your skin and to start with treatment and as soon as you see the dark spot one more moment here is that you if you treat the spot but you still don't avoid sun exposure the treatment is not going to work because the melanocytes are still overproducting melanin and the same goes also for faded spots if you get exposed to sun again 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 and again they are going to darken again 
So if you develop hyperpigmentation or if you want to prevent hyperpigmentation, you need to protect your skin every day and to treat hyperpigmentation as early as possible. And how can you develop hyperpigmentation? Just don't use a sunscreen, it's simple. Just go outside, spend days outside at the sun and not use the sunscreen. Okay, <laughs> the first thing you can do every day is wear sunscreen. If you're wearing sunscreen and reapplying it throughout the day, you're minimizing chances of developing hyperpigmentation. If you're pregnant, wear sunscreen every day. If you're not pregnant, wear sunscreen every day. If it's cloudy outside, wear sunscreen every day. If you're standing inside by the window, wear your sunscreen. And please wear sunscreen with SPF at least. Furry, I use 50 plus. I use La Roche Posay. And how much sunscreen should I use? Actually, the correct number is two milligrams per square centimeter of the skin. Uh, so it is quite a lot. Uh, so basically, uh, for the whole body, you will need to uh, you will need to fill one shot glass and this is how much sunscreen you need to cover all your body. For the face, two phalanx is usually enough, but with such sunscreens as La Roche-Posay, which is fluidy, two fingers, two fingers don't, uh, don't, don't work here because, see, it's just, it's just like this. It's not, it's not enough to cover your, uh, to cover your because we are not wasting. So uh, with fluidy, with fluidy sunscreens, it's not enough. So you just need to to apply enough. If you feel like you're not applying enough sunscreen, just apply more. Apply another layer. I usually do two layers with uh, this one, and I also reapply it every two hours or every time I go outside. So thank you guys for watching, I hope it was useful and I hope to see you in my next video. So please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and see ya!